It's Chuck, back again with another video. Today is going to be one of my thought-provoking and maybe even provocative videos. I put it in my series, what I call No Such Thing As. You may have seen my video, No Such Thing As Future Proof, or No Such Thing As a Drop-In Refrigerant. And today, I want to talk about my belief that there's no such thing as a natural refrigerant. So why do I say that? Why do they say there's no such thing as a natural refrigerant? Really, it's because we don't have a definition of natural that's agreed upon that there's an industry consensus. It's not an engineering or a scientific term. In fact, other industries have struggled mightily with the term natural or all natural. Food, supplements, vitamins, uh, medicines, cleaners, disinfectants, cosmetics have all struggled with the term natural when it comes to uh, labeling or marketing uh, their products. And so the, the government uh, throws up their hands. They don't get involved. There's no definition uh, legally for any of those products. Second, the refrigerants that we use in the refrigeration industry uh, don't come from these natural sources. They are all manufactured in chemical plants with chemical processes. They consume energy, they consume raw materials, they produce waste. The products need to be purified in chemical processes. They need to be packaged, transported, put into cylinders, stored in warehouses, just like every other refrigerant. So I'm gonna put a link down here uh, to a very, uh, I thought it was very insightful uh, commentary uh, from a, a gentleman long time in the industry uh, from the UK and his take on natural versus synthetic and why uh, he doesn't really agree that that's a useful uh, designation to make. So if we don't use the term natural, how should we really go about looking at refrigerants and judging them? Well, what I want to propose to you is that we do it based on measurable data, objective chemical, physical, thermodynamic properties, environmental properties, standards we can test against and specify against, what refrigerants work best in what applications, and how we can go about moving our industry forward. So for example, there should be no ambiguity about measuring things like density, boiling point, heat capacities, even things like environmental properties, uh, atmospheric lifetime, global warming potential, ozone depletion potential. We have standard methods and calculations that let us measure those and everyone will get the same answer. Even when we get into systems, the industry is full of uh, methodologies and standards for calculating system efficiency, system capacities. That's really what we should be basing our industry development of refrigerants on, sound engineering, not marketing hype or buzzwords like natural. So that's my opinion why there's no such thing as a natural refrigerant. I hope I gave you some food for thought and got your wheels turning. You may agree with me, you may not. I'd love to hear your uh, opinion. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, reach out to me if you want. Uh, we can continue the discussion. Again, thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see you around. So long.